Greetings, everybody. My name is Tommy Lockwood, author of the book, Fasting with the Masters, A Guide for Self-Healing. I'm an herbalist and a wellness coach, specifically dealing with fasting and detox protocols. And this video is Dr. Savi's teachings and how I've been liquid fasting for half of 2020. And it sounds pretty extreme, but it all makes sense once you understand the way that these things come together. And if you follow Dr. Savi's teachings, you know and understand that I met him back in 2016 and I have an interview with him in English, an interview with him in Spanish, and we became great friends as we knew each other. And the reason was because when I met him, I was already doing a fasting protocol, liquid fasting that is, for about 40 days. And I was able to do that because I was trained by an herbalist prior to ever knowing about Dr. Sebi. And when we were able to connect, it was definitely a point of commonality where we were able to grow and, and expand on a lot of different things relating to natural wellness and herbs. But if you don't follow Dr. Sebi, let me just explain to you what his methods were about. They were about understanding alkaline foods and using what is natural, made by the earth. Now, when you understand liquid fasting and how that's, that's helped me and other people around the world, taking my experience aside, I have to mention the studies in MIT. We have found, uh, based on a lot of research into fasting scientifically, that the body's able to create a stem cell response as a result of fasting. And why I've been able to do liquid fasting is number one, the body's made of mostly liquid, made of mostly water. So what I've decided to do is take the same protocols that I used to do back in, you know, back in 2016 and the years prior, where my first teacher taught me how to do liquid fasting for 30 days. And I would take always 30 days out of the year to cleanse my body. And I've done it for 2020 for a prolonged period of time. And it sounds kind of crazy, but I will get into exactly how I've done it, why I've done it, and things will start to make a lot more sense. The reason being is because when most people think of the word fasting, they probably think that I'm not doing anything for my body, that I'm not eating anything, or I'm not giving myself nutrition. That's the, that's the main point, right? Because you can, you can have liquids and have nutrition. And that is exactly what Dr. Sebi taught. You see, the body's made of mostly water. And so our diet, our lifestyle of eating should be mostly liquids because our body is mostly liquid. So what ends up happening is that a liquid-based type of fasting allows the digestive system to take a break. It allows it to, to uh, pass through the nutrients easier and not having to break them down, expend a lot of energy, right? Or like uh, basically like use up all the energy that, that you would otherwise uh, be doing in digestion and use it for healing. And that's what liquid fasting can do. Now, of course, there's many extremes of liquid fasting, right? Uh, we're talking about water only or water and teas. Then you add water and cold pressed juices then you can add, uh, then you can add on top of water, tea, cold pressed juices. You can add smoothies, and the last tear of of this protocol is to add blended vegetable soups. Okay. Now, understanding the alkaline food list, and if you don't have the alkaline food list, you can be sure to to check out the link below, and uh, download your copy of the alkaline food list that I've created in the honor of Dr. Savi and my mentor, Rasta Hoodie, that taught me everything I know about fasting and about wellness in general. And uh, understanding that you can take these foods and you know, in terms of uh, what they are, they're vegetables, nuts, seeds, uh, fruits, um, you know, all of these things that are naturally made by the earth. And they are not hybridized, they are not adulterated or, or, or altered in any way. And so using that alkaline food list 
I've been able to sustain my fasting by using all of the all of the things that I mentioned before. So we're talking about water, having a gallon a day of spring water or alkalized ionized water, having, you know, a lot of herbal teas, whether that's tonics, roots, um, you know, infusions of flowers and leaves, uh, cold pressed juices, whether that's pure uh, fruit juices or, or green juices, um, smoothie blends. So meaning you take, you know, more of the sustenance of, uh, of the fruits, maybe add some, some nut butters and different things for protein and, and adding, you know, muscle, uh, muscle gaining fruits and veggies. And, and uh, also you can add the blended soups, which are great because a lot of people, when they go into the juice fasting, it's always cold, right? It's water, maybe uh, a lot of fruit juices, a lot of smoothies, but it's important to add the room temperature or warm temperature foods and you can add them in the form of blended soups, right? So basically the procedure is as follows. Everything that I did was, was taking, you know, my favorite foods and veggies and, and breaking them down into a way that it was more liquefied. And generally, what this does is create the body's immune response and is able to help it uh, fight against, you know, free radicals and, and, you know, toxins, heavy metals that may be accumulated in the liver, in the digestive tract, the mucus that could have been accumulated. You're able to, to, uh, to wash it out, essentially, because you're not breaking down things that are solid food-based or you know, breaking down uh, carcinogenic fats and, and heating oils and stuff like that, that, you know, that basically cause an, a pH imbalance in the skin. And uh, those are the benefits of doing a liquid-based diet. But the most important thing that I have to say that has sustained the fasting has been the herbs, okay? I always tell people who venture into this field and to want to cleanse their body. And I always tell them this, I'm wearing a white shirt, right? And let's say I get some stain on it, right? Maybe it could be from blending some, some amazing blueberries, or it could be from, uh, from making a butternut squash soup and, and you get the orange all in there, or maybe the, the purple and the blue, all the berries or whatever. But let me tell you this, if I put this in a washer machine, right, without any detergent, and I put it in the cycle, I might clean it a bit, maybe the sweat and maybe all the other things like that, but as far as the stain that I mentioned, I'm probably not gonna get that out. In the same way, you have to use herbs for your cleansing. Imagine just doing a fruit juice or a water fast. That's good, it's gonna clean your body, however, when you add the herbs and fasting, it's like putting this white shirt with detergent and bleach. And you can make sure that when you wash it, when you take it away from the, from the washing machine, the stain has been removed. And sometimes, a lot of times, <laughs> we have accumulated toxins, heavy metals build up in our organs. And because 2020 has been the health crisis here with, you know, a global pandemic, it's been important to separate myself from the things that have been happening worldwide. And guess what? I haven't experienced anything remotely uh, close to what people are having freaking out about with this whole 2020 pandemic. And uh, it's a beautiful thing because Fasting is not only about the physical things, everything I mentioned. There's a reason why all the religions around the world, Christianity, Islam, Baha'i, Hinduism, the Tao, Buddhism, all of these religions mention fasting as a way to cleanse the body, but also the mind and the spirit. So by doing this liquid fasting diet since May up until what is now uh, December, 
of 2020, I've been able to separate myself from the crowd of all this chaos and all these, all these different things and has been quite therapeutic, very, very healing. And, uh, and it's, it's the perfect time, right? Because a lot of people make the excuse why they don't go to a fasting is because, oh, because I, I go out and hang out with so-and-so and I have to do this and that. But guess what? People have been locked down in their homes and a lot of people have been doing unhealthy things, right? So now is the time to really understand your body, what it can do. And so that's why I've decided to do that on myself. And uh, obviously taking the herbs, taking the intracellular nutrition that the plants give, which is why I've experienced less hunger. My skin has been glowing. Um, I've been getting more you know, vivid dreams. And these are things that are spoken about in the Bible. If you're, if you're, it doesn't matter if you're religious, you have to understand that if one religious text mentions it, another religious text men mentions it, there's a reason for the season, right? So that's why I believe that fasting is a great tool, not only for the physical healing of the body, immunity, things that have been mentioned by, you know, great renowned universities like MIT and other, you know, medical and scientific research facilities. You have these herbalist teachers, the ancient wisdoms from these amazing healers that have come to this world to teach and to help humanity heal the body and raise their, their awareness, their, their vibration and frequency. And now is the time. And so if you're interested in understanding more about fasting and how to really heal yourself through fasting and you need some coaching, some herbs that are tailor made to you, you can definitely check out some in my website. I have some services and goodies that are sure to help you as they've helped many, many other people in their journeys of health and well-being. And I look forward to talking more about this. For now, I'm just going to leave you with this. And I look forward to knowing more if you've ever liquid fasted, if you've ever done any of this before, if you have anything that you want to ask that I didn't cover. Obviously, we can go over everything in short little videos like this, but I look forward to carrying the conversation on in the comments. All right. For now, this is it. Much love, everybody. Take care. <laughs>